Why, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome to my YouTube. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about why morning birds are better than night owls and how you can change to become one. Typically, 70% of the population is not confined to either being a morning person or a night owl. And genes only make up a small portion of this. This means that we usually have the ability to choose whether or not you wanna sleep late or wake up early. Now, most of my friends usually stay up late rather than wake up early. And this can be traced back to when we were all hunter gatherers trying to get wood or trying to protect ourselves. We didn't have houses. We didn't have anything to protect us from lions or predators. So typically people would stay up at night to watch or make sure that the whole group wasn't being attacked. Reason number one is that there have been studies that show that people who are night owls tend to get lower GPAs than those who are early risers or morning birds. So the researchers took a group of night owls and compared them to a group of morning birds and found out that the night owls had lower GPAs and lower scores than those of their counterparts. So it's kind of interesting to see, even though it doesn't mean causation, we should try and delve deeper into why this is the case. So if you think about it logically, sleeping later and having to wake up to go to class, you're obviously going to be more tired, more groggy, which means that you can't intake information as fast and you have to review it because you keep on forgetting it. Now, if you're in a lecture and you forget everything they said, you're going to have to go back and review and that's going to take time. And night owls usually have to review more information to make sure that they remember it from the morning's class. The number two is that you're more likely to get exercise. There's a quote from this chief medical officer, Constantine George, and he says, early risers tend to get exercise more frequently and enjoy health benefits that go along with regular fitness routines. Can you remember the last time you exercised at night or when you exercise after you woke up at 1 p.m.? I can't think of one person in my life who is a night owl that exercises right after they wake up. In addition, there are less distractions in the morning, which makes it easy to clear your mind and focus on what you want to do. Reason number three is that it reduces sleep deprivation. Since most activities occur between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., going to sleep later means that you have to wake up at no matter what time. If you're a night owl, going to sleep later means I have to wake up before 9 a.m. However, if you're a morning bird, this doesn't matter because you're waking up early anyway. You're ready to seize the day and you don't have to worry about missing any of your commitments. Not only that, but nighttime is usually where all of the nightclubs, parties, and all the streamers stay up and play. This means that if you're not sleeping, it's really easy to get distracted and have FOMO because you're scared of missing out on what other people are doing. The social peer pressure behind this is very difficult to escape. And if you can develop good, strong habits, you can make sure that you sleep on time. When you wake up, the morning will provide you with many opportunities to clear your mind, maybe go on a run, walk. It's just an overall better experience because you're not distracted by everyone who's online or social media. And the last reason that I'm going to talk about is social jet lag. Now, what is social jet lag? Social jet lag is when there's a disparity between sleeping on the weekdays and the weekends. For example, as a night owl, during the weekends, you stay up late and you wake up late. But during the weekdays, you're forced to sleep earlier and wake up earlier because of school or work or other priorities. The disparity between these two sleep schedules is called social jet lag. Some of the symptoms are that you're unable to sleep well, become groggy during the day, and you can have symptoms of depression as well. Overall, being a morning person is easier on your body, your mind, and your overall physical health. Just by sleeping earlier and waking up earlier, you can avoid all these 
that rabbit holes that you go through when you stay up late at night. It's this new social media environment where everything goes on at night that makes it really difficult for night owls to break out of that cycle. With that said, I hope I've convinced you that being a morning owl is better and I hope you're motivated to try and change your habits to try and implement this in your own life. Tip number one is to stop drinking caffeine. Now, I'm not saying that you should just stop drinking caffeine altogether. I'm saying stop drinking caffeine after 2 p.m. Caffeine is a stimulant and a drug. It blocks the adenosine receptors in your brain, which makes it difficult for you to feel sleepy, basically preventing you from going to sleep. However, even though it is able to block these off, it takes time to wear off. It takes time for the caffeine to circulate through your system and exit. This means that you have to be really careful with when you drink caffeine and how much you're drinking. The 2 p.m. benchmark is just an average calculation for the average person. Now, you may be different. Your body might react differently to caffeine. So you're going to have to experiment by yourself. Try seeing what your limits are. Try drinking caffeine after 2 p.m. and see if you can go to sleep. Just mix and match, but make sure you don't do it on a school day because that would be really bad. Nothing is worse than lying in your bed, staring at your white seeing, just imagining how boring your life is. Well, I, I've definitely felt it. I don't know if uh, you felt it. If you find it difficult, I recommend purchasing melatonin gummies. Melatonin is a natural hormone that tells your body to start winding down. The gummy forms are usually used for jet lag or insomnia, so it's perfect if you're experiencing these problems. Eating the recommended dose 30 minutes before going to sleep can have a huge impact. I've tried it myself and it helps cure jet lag. Not only that, but it improves sleep quality and reduces grogginess. If you want to get even more benefits out of your melatonin gummies, stop using your screens or don't do any actions that raise up your heart rate after you eat your gummies. You want to keep your body relaxed, let the melatonin do its work so that you can go to sleep peacefully. Tip number three is to not look at the time when you wake up in the middle of the night. Have you ever woken up at 3 a.m. and then just tried to see what the time was? I mean, if you woke up at 3 a.m., you would have gone. Have you ever woken up at 3 a.m. and wanted to check out what the time was? Our sleep comes and goes in cycles between a deep sleep and a semi-awoken state. If by any chance you wake up during the transitions between those sleep states, I recommend just not looking at your phone at all and just try going back to sleep. Looking at the time before school starts or work starts can increase your stress levels, increase your heart rate. That make it, can make it really difficult to go back to bed. You're thinking, oh no, I have this math project tomorrow. It's only five hours until I have to do it. It's very detrimental. So you wanna stop looking at the time when you wake up. If it's difficult for you to put your phone away, I recommend purchasing some earplugs and a face mask. That way, when you wake up, you're less tempted to look at your phone. You have to take out the earplugs and you have to take off the face mask. It increases the barrier between you and your phone. So you're more likely to fall back asleep. Not only this, but it also prevents extra light, external light from coming in or the sounds of cars or honking horns from distracting you. The last tip is to put your phone away from your bed or just throw it out of the window. If you live in a dorm room like me, you only have one room to have your bed, your workstation, which means that everything is clumped together. All the distractions are put into one room. This means that your phone is always a few steps away and it's very tempting to just get up and just check social media. What I recommend is to put your phone on the opposite side of the room. If that doesn't work, then you can always just throw your phone out the window. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. And you can work as long as you want because you're not distracted by your phone. Maybe I should turn this into a business model. All right guys, that sums up my opinion on why morning birds are better than night owls. I hope that you can apply these tips and lessons into your own life. And if you found them useful, please consider subscribing and liking down below.